Hi guys, it's Vivian the Psalm Next Door. Today we're gonna to be covering South Africa and the wine regions there. We're gonna be doing a quick, you know, overview and what you guys need to know when you're buying South African wines. I'm gonna tell you why I think South Africa is the next up and coming region that has one of the best value wines out there, at least for now. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let us get started. Mm. So South Africa is the eighth largest wine producing country in the world, which kind of surprises people. South Africa is considered a new old world wine. They've been producing wine since the 1600s. The Dutch who were on their way to the West Indies made a colony in South Africa because they noticed that they had Mediterranean climate, which was good for grapes. The wines were very well known in Europe. In fact, Napoleon, one of his favorite wines came from South Africa, Vin de Constance, which was a sweet wine. It really has only been like the last 30 years that they have made progress towards making nice wine. Other things that kind of improved South Africa's wine was the wine of origin system. It is kind of like the ABA, the US ABA system, based on soil, geographical features, climate, and basically every bottle that have the seal, which I'll show you, right here it is certifying that the grapes from in this wine came from that region and they will put that seal on there to certify its quality fun fact that i learned from one of my best friends who lives in south africa did you guys know during covid the government just stopped all alcohol sales like you couldn't sell alcohol for almost six months it was dry because the government thought that alcohol consumption uh, contributed to people going to the hospital. So, you know, moral of the story is one, support South African wineries. They've gone through a lot during COVID. And two, we should all have at least six months worth of wine. That is the real lesson for the day. Pinotage is almost exclusively grown in South Africa. It is their national grape, which is actually what I'm drinking today. It's a cross between Pinot Noir and Cinso. And I would say that Pinotage is like a pretty polarizing wine. It gets a lot of hate in the wine community. Now, what does Pinotage taste like? I get a lot of like blackberry plum, it's like jammy, maybe like a little bit of soy sauce. It's a little like meaty, it has a nice spice to it. Yum. It's low acid, high alcohol, medium to medium high tannins. This is in Bot River, which is a cooler region. So this one has a little bit more acid than normal, which I think I prefer. Pinotage is like the national red but they also produce a lot of Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz or Syrah. The next wine that you should know about South Africa is Chenin Blanc. Chenin Blanc is the most, is the most widely planted grape in South Africa. Chenin Blanc in South Africa is pretty distinct. It is very rich, buttery, they typically use oak, yellow apple flavors, white flower, like jasmine aroma, apricots. It's really rich and beautiful. And they make it in a variety of styles, just kind of like the Loire Valley. So they'll have your typical dry or they'll have full sweet dessert wines and sparkling wines. Now, speaking of sparkling, in South Africa, sparkling wine is called Cap Classique. And that is champagne style. They see it as an everyday drinking sparkling, which is amazing. And you can find some really great ones for less than $20. Stellenbosch, it is the most famous region inside of South Africa. They are famous for Cabernet Sauvignon. That is their breadwinner. You can find really great prices 
for the quality of the Cabernets there. You know, Cabernet is around in Napa, average is 40. And I would say in Stellenbosch, you can find a really good one for 40 to $50. Famous producers are like Starkond. They have a little bit more of a green note to it, a little bit mintier. They also produce Chenin Blanc. Like I said, everyone produces a Chenin Blanc. And probably one of the most famous Chenin Blancs is from Ken Forrester, FMC. And that goes for around $40, $50. Also, we cannot forget to mention the Canon Cop Pinotage, the benchmark Pinotage. It's dense, it's lush, it has intense fruit characteristics and that goes for around $40. Mine was around 18. Like I said, if you're going for the best, it really isn't as expensive as like, let's say if we were in California or Australia, their top, top wines are you know much more expensive. Another winery that I want to mention is Muhiti Boutique Family Wines. It is one of the few black owned wine estates in South Africa and it's in Stellenbosch and they make wonderful wines. So right next door to Stellenbosch is Parl. They aren't as well known, so that's a very good place to find great value wines. Parl is one of the hottest regions within the Western Cape. That is why they can produce a lot of Rhone varieties. Inside Parl is a very famous WO wine of origin, Franschuk. Franschuk actually translates to French Quarter. And if you go there, the villas, it's like very like luxurious around there. And the wines kind of reflect that vibe. It is expensive over there. So if you see Franschuk, you'd be like, ching ching, dollar signs. But that is where you can find very lovely Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon, and they're very famous for their Sauvignon. So Swartland is one of the most Northern region in the coastal range and they're very good for Syrah, uh, Rhone varieties, Pinotage, and Chenin Blanc. Swartland is also a region that's not as well known. So again, you can find very good value. Now I briefly mentioned this. So this is from Walker Bay. This is the coolest region in South Africa. So they do a lot of cool climate grapes. This is where you can find very good Sauvignon Blanc very good Chardonnay. You can even find some Pinot Noir. So you're gonna have a little bit more acid. It's a little bit more refreshing and lively. Anyway, guys, you know what this means, right? We're wrapping up. All right, so yeah, that was my quick, was it quick? I don't even know. But this was my guide on South Africa, a very broad overview of what you guys should be looking out for. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and cheers. I will catch you guys later.